Alright, now this guitar is very interesting. Now I inherited this. I used to borrow this instrument all the time uh, from a friend of mine who has also uh, worked very heavily in the music industry and uh, lived in uh, New Hampshire. It's got the uh, really high dollar EQ and volume knobs and well, the first one thing you name it, you know, uh, real expensive pickup system in this. Uh, it plugs in right here, plugs into my amps, um, the, the, there it is right there. <laughs> and this is a master built Yamaha 12 string by master built. Behave! Kato the kitty, woo, <laughs> he's feeling active tonight. Kato the kitty cat's acting up. Well, you know, <laughs> we'll let him act up. He is a big cat, man. He's a head like that. His paws are like that. I mean, woo! He get active every now and then too, boy. Alright, now this is a Yamaha. Get the thing up there. Uh, there we go. Yamaha. This is one of the master built series that they had back in the day, uh, meaning that it was built by one guy who built this guitar, uh, one of their masters. Now, uh, that brings up a lot of stuff, you know, when you talk about Yamaha, Gibson, Fender, Ibanez, any of those guys. Um, if you go to a guitar center and buy a guitar, let me let you in on the secret. They're all made by the same people in the same places. Okay. Um, most usually, the guitars that are available to the general public aren't what you see the stars playing. It's just a fact. It's how it is. They're ghost built. It says Gibson on it. It says Epiphone on it. It says this, that, or the other on it. It doesn't mean jack shit. Samick builds almost everything these days over in Korea. Uh, Peerless, Samick, and, um, oh geez, it slips my mind. I can't think of the other one. There's, there's three major manufacturers. None of them are here in the USA. They build them all, okay? Uh, if you buy a Fender, it says Made in USA on it. Chances are in China. I'm sorry to tell you, but that's the way it is. Uh, back in the day, in the you know, up to the 40s and 70s, things like that, uh, most guitars were made by. Actually, Harmony in Chicago, Illinois, made most of the Fenders. Seriously, I mean, you know that offends guys when I tell them that, but it's the truth. Um, they were all being made by the same people. They just had a different brand on the top. Uh, this being a master built, and you can see the guy's signature in there, name I can't pronounce. It's a really great instrument. Um, sounds awesome. I had borrowed this for years. So my buddy called me one night and he said, hey man, I sent you a present. Hey man, I hadn't heard from you in a while. How you doing? You know, I took this thing all around the United States, everywhere. About two days later, a FedEx driver pulled up in a van and he unloaded a big box and this and the case was in it. And I called him and said, hey man, I still got the airport tags on the case because I had been, you know, on some planes flying here, there, down to do shows. I had borrowed this from him. He goes, yeah, I did a little work on it. I put you some strings on it and sent it to you. That night he died of a stroke. And um, I talked to his daughter. And she said, yeah, he wanted you to have that. And he kind of knew he was leaving us. And uh, sent me the guitar I borrowed from your side. So for years and years uh, on the road, people would see me with this 12 string playing this 12 string right here. Long, long time ago I can still remember how that music used to make me smile and I knew if I had my 
chance that I can make those people dance or oh, maybe they'd be happy for a while but yeah you hear it on the songs you know if you look dig back deep into some of my recordings you're gonna hear Rosie on stuff like um, oh let's see, I, I used it in this song if I can remember how to play it right now. She walks through the corn, leading down to the river. It shine like gold in that hot morning sun. Took all the love that poor boy could give her. Left me to die like a fox on the run, like a fox. I know I missed a chord, but you know, on the run. I used it on a. on that thing. I mean, it's just a lot of different songs. So this is another one of my stage guitars. I'm not going to be using it this weekend because of uh, space. we got a little Hyundai Sonata we're traveling in, so I'm just taking one guitar. I'm taking Rosie. But um, this is my old 12-string that I had inherited from Bob. And I've got this 12-string and I've got the OK 12-string. And I've got a couple of 12 strings back here in the pile, the work pile, that I've got to work on for Brian so he can sell those. But this one's mine, this one in the K. And uh, this is a master built Yamaha that I've been seeing all over the United States playing this. And people ask about it all the time. I think it's a one of a kind, I'm not sure, because you can't find them. Uh, the only thing it's got is uh, 0000 12 and then the guy's signature that made it. Yamaha made quite a few of these there and let some of their luthiers put them out. It's pretty cool. I love the 12 string man for a lot of different reasons. I love to use them, you know, it's stuff. It's great stuff. I'll back, I'll try to pick your song on this one too.